Let's say you've earned a whole bunch of college credits in the past, but you dropped out and now you want to go back to college, but you don't want to lose all of those transfer credits. You want them to count towards your future degree. Okay. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in earning college degrees faster using a method called degree hacking. So what this video is about is I want to give you a huge warning and help you avoid a massive mistake when transferring past earned college credits to your new school so that you can accelerate and finish your college degree. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ryan. I earned a bachelor's degree in nine months and now I teach other people how to do that through this channel. If that's something you're interested in, just subscribe to the channel. All right, so one of the biggest mistakes I see people make when transferring college credits to a particular school is what they'll do is they'll automatically choose the college or university that will award them the most transfer credits from their past work that they've already done. Now, sometimes this is the right thing to do. Sometimes this is a huge mistake, and I'll tell you why. For a long time, there were a number of universities. Maybe you've heard of like Thomas Edison State University or Excelsior College or Southern New Hampshire or like a whole bunch of universities that had very, very lax standards for what they'll accept for transfer credits. So you could go earn third party credits. You could have credits you earned from college 20 or 30 years ago, like, and they would just accept everything and give you tons and tons of college credit. And there you go. You transfer over, finish your degree all is well. And things go smooth. Now things have changed. Okay. Most of these schools have changed their rules. What they used to do is say, earn all these credits, transfer them over, and we will grant you, I don't know, 110 credits towards your degree. You only have to take 10 more and then you get your bachelor's degree. Well, most of these schools have changed the rules because they weren't making enough money and colleges and universities are businesses. So what's happened is most of these schools have changed the rules and now require a minimum of one year attendance at their particular school. Now this isn't the end of the world and this is actually a pretty fair rule, but here's the catch. What a lot of schools, and if you're watching my channel, I talk about degree hacking and accelerating your degree and testing out of your classes and things like that. Well, a lot of these schools, what they do is say, you have to transfer or you have to attend one year at our school, but we're not gonna let you test out of those classes. You have to do it as a traditional student. Okay. The thing I don't like about this is there are really, really good schools where you can test out of all your classes, the whole entire degree and literally get a whole bachelor's degree in like six months, 12 months, like really, really quick. I, I personally did it in nine months with a full-time job and a wife and kids to support. And like in my spare time, you can do this really fast. Now, the problem with the transferring if you transfer all your credits and you have a school that says you've earned 80 credits, we'll give you all 80 credits. If they have that requirement of you have to attend our school for one year as a traditional student, well, you might feel like you're not losing past work, but you're actually enrolling yourself into a program or into a situation where it's going to take you longer to graduate than if you just hacked the whole entire degree from the very beginning, starting at zero. And I hope this is making sense, but I see people do this all the time. They'll, they'll choose the school that awards the most credit. So here's what you need to do. Number one, apply to multiple schools that are hackable. And if you don't know which schools are hackable, I have other, other videos on this channel where I walk through that. Um, or you can even email me and ask me a, a question about your specific situation. I'm happy to help, but apply to all the schools that you're interested or considering attending transfer or have them pull your transcripts and see how many credits they'll award. Okay. Then the step that everybody skips and I don't know why, but everybody doesn't like nobody does this. Then calculate how many classes you have left and how long it's going to take you to finish all of those classes. Now, for reference, if you're in a fully 100% competency-based education program, a lot of people that work with me, like it's really common. Most of my students, I encourage them, try to finish at least one class a week. 
Okay. Well, an entire bachelor's degree is like 40 classes. So if you're like, okay, school A, they're going to accept all 80 of my transfer credits. But after that, I have to do 10 more credits. Like I can hack those and then 30 more credits traditionally. And that traditional year is going to be take me a year or school B is only going to accept 30 credits from my past. And that leaves me with 90 more, but those 90 credits can be earned in six, six more months. You're better off going with the school that grants you less transfer credits. I hope that makes sense. So make sure you really sit down and calculate, okay, this school is giving me this much. This school is giving me this much with what I have remaining. How long is it going to take me to finish this degree? If you ask yourself that question, you're going to save yourself from a situation where you might have to be sitting in a classroom or attending digital lectures for an entire year or more because you chose the school that allots more transfer credits. Okay. So if you have questions about this, I mean, feel free to reach out. You can leave comments below. If you know answers to some of these or have solutions for people, share down below and help out. This is a community. So yeah, I hope this video has helped. And my hope is that this video saves you from trapping yourself into an extra year or more of college by falling into the, we'll give you all these credits trap. Okay. Just because the school is going to give you all the credits does not mean it's going to be faster. If you've liked the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you in the next video.